Today on CBTV Idaho, we're going to discuss the $90 million allocated to ISU for infrastructure upgrades. We're going to discuss a growing construction management society that is happening at BYU-Idaho, as well as construction at Exit 168 in Jerome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. My name is Tyson, and you are watching Construction Business TV, Idaho Falls, Idaho. Welcome back everyone to CBTV Idaho. My name is Tyson and I'm your video journalist for Construction Business TV in the East Idaho area. If this is your first time on the channel, CBTV is your go-to resource for news on all the construction and development projects that are happening in your local area. We're going to start this off as we always do with a local construction job post to lead. So Roadhouse Construction Inc. has an immediate need to fill five different positions. All these positions are local to Roberts, Idaho. They are all mid to entry level experience required and they are full time and they pay between $16 to $28 per hour. What they are looking for is heavy equipment operators, uh, structure, sorry, crusher, screener, operator, CDL truck drivers, welder fabricators, and diesel mechanics. So if you have a an interest in any of these positions, if you'd like to learn more about them, or if you'd like to know how you can apply for them, there is a link in the description below the video. We're going to hit this off with story number one. We're going to discuss the construction at exit 168 in Jerome, which began yesterday. So the idle transportation department began construction on the improvement of the Interstate 84 South Jerome interchange at exit 168 Monday. The current interchange was built in 1966 and has reached the end of its lifespan and as such a new one needs to be constructed in its place. So yesterday Monday crews began flagging along Bob Barton Road and nearby streets like Lincoln Avenue and East Frontage Road North as well as Bob Barton Road being uh, closed at times throughout this two year long project and detours will be in place. We'll be sure to keep you up to date on more information on this project as it unfolds. If you find value in the content that I provide for you every Tuesday at 4 o'clock, you can show your support by hitting the like button below the video. If you haven't yet, you can subscribe to Construction Business TV as well. We are on YouTube. You can follow us on Facebook. You can also follow us on Instagram. Story number two, we're going to discuss the Growing Construction Management Society at BYU-Idaho. So the Design and Construction Management Society is a society presided over by four students. Students can expect to split into four different groups upon joining the society, marketing, mentorship, employee relations, and activities. These groups are designed to expose students to different business uh, processes and prepare them for life post-graduation. Every semester, there are between 40 and 50 companies that recruit for internships through this uh, society. The DCMS is preparing for a career fair on February 22nd featuring 30 to 40 companies related to the DCMS majors. In addition to the job opportunities DCMS provides, they also focus on the skills needed to excel as a future professional. For our final story, we're going to discuss the $90 million uh, allocated budget to ISU for infrastructure upgrades. So Idaho State University has allocated out details for renovations at Reed's Gym and the President's House as well as a litany of other repair projects. So the Idaho Legislature has appropriated $550 million to address the state's uh, deferred maintenance projects. The state has allocated $90 million to ISU that it will use to help address infrastructure issues along with essential maintenance. Of the $90 million, a significant overhaul of the ISU President's House comes with a $600,000 price tag, which includes high quality material replacement for doors, windows, and shutters, along with new flooring and paint for the interior of the house. Exterior work that includes a new roof, gutter maintenance, and exterior painting and concrete work will also be covered in the initial costs along with contractor expenses. Plans have been in place for several years, years to address the maintenance needs, but repair work was challenging with former ISU presidents residing in the home. Now with the home currently vacant, demolition work began on the house in early January with crews removing old wallpaper, carpet, and other outdated trappings uh, of the interior. Current projections will have all the interior work completed by April so that newly appointed ISU president 
uh, Robert Wagner and his family will be able to move in during that time. Once Wagner and his family are settled in, the work will shift to the exterior construction that has an estimated completion time around the end of June in which the entire project will be finished. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Construction Business TV in the East Idaho area. I want to thank you guys again so much for your time and your participation in the channel and your loyalty and watching week to week. If you haven't yet and you take value in this content, you can like the video below and you can subscribe to Construction Business TV on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram to be kept up to date on projects as they unfold week to week. Thank you guys for your time. Drive safe.